the G League. He recently told reporters he'd look forward to playing basketball, quote unquote, no matter what level he's playing at. So, Paul, ew, how much do you see Bronny playing in the G League this coming basketball season? I see him spending a significant amount of time in the G League, Skip and Key, because for one, how else do you develop? Uh, and two, I don't see him, you know, based on what we saw in the college, based on what we're seeing here in summer league, he still needs time to figure out who he is. In my eyes, he needs to turn into that defensive stopper, three and D guy. He got to make shots. So I think he needs time. Once you start the NBA season, he'll go to the Lakers, he'll go through training camp. You know, get all the practice time he can, play, play in the preseason. We'll see him in preseason probably. But then I like to see him get more minutes in the G League, you know, because I don't see him becoming an instant rotation player on the current Laker roster. You know, so once the season starts, they're not going to practice. There's not a lot of practice time for you to develop, you know. So get into the G League, get, your, get you some five on five, continue to get stronger, to, get, to continue to build your confidence. Uh, and then I'll figure, like, we'll bring him in after a couple months. I'll say it around Christmas. You can bring him in. Okay, so uh, no big league Laker. Not at minutes. the beginning. No, like, no okay. not at the beginning. Let's, oh. get his, let's get his NBA workouts in. Let's get him a routine. Let's get him in our system learning who he's going to be. And then bring him up. You know, I wouldn't start him off right away. Yeah, I'll get him in some preseason games, though. We can do that. The re but the regular season... Uh, G League and the regular season NBA, I don't believe they, uh, they, they probably the don't start they, they the same. They kind of, I think they start a little bit later. Maybe a little later, but once G League starts, that's where we're gonna be at, because that's the only time and that's the only place where I'm gonna get the reps that I need in order mm. to get the confidence I need. Because think about this: the way he's playing now, these guys, they're not gonna be in the NBA. The guys you're playing against now, so it's gonna get tougher. <laughs> the, the, the defenders are gonna get bigger. Stronger, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. better, higher IQ. So you got to start somewhere to get your confidence up before you have to eventually run into that. Mm. You know, you don't want to have to run into a game where next thing you know, that's Pat Beverly in front of you now, not not Pat whoever <laughs> who's guarding you now. Pat Wilshire. Pat Wilshire. <laughs> that's not going to be Pat Wilshire. That's going to be Pat Beverly. You, you know what I'm saying? So you got to get your confidence up before you get to that. I ask you a question, though, Skip. I don't think Bronny James ever thought for one minute that he wouldn't have an opportunity to play in the G League. That they he would be he would all he was always open to it. The difference is we were the ones talking about NBA, NBA, NBA. He wasn't ever saying I don't ever want to play in the NBA. The only thing that his camp and Rich Paul said is they're not signing a two-way contract. They said that. They want the big league NBA mm -hmm. contract, which mm -hmm. means, okay, you'll get the guaranteed money, you'll get the three-year deal, whatever it is, $8 million or whatever mm -hmm. that number is, yep. rather than this split contract G League thing, which doesn't mean that he can't go to the local affiliate and play, which is the South Bay Lakers. He can go up, go down, go up, go down, as many times as they want to throughout the year. I believe, and I haven't checked this, but my mind tells me that there's a lag time from the regular season big boy NBA to the G League. So whatever that is, two, three weeks or whatever, he'll be up with the NBA to such due time that he knows it moved down to the G League. Much like Paul has been saying, and I keep saying, he's got to get the minutes. He's just got to get the minutes. It doesn't mean he has to stay. He may play a Monday in South Bay, and the Lakers play on a Wednesday, and he come and join the team and get, you know, 10 minutes of that particular game, then go play Thursday, Saturday again with the G League. That's mm -hmm. how I see it all shaking out. Mm. Okay. Rich Paul was adamant, no two-way. And lately, there was a report on ESPN.com after the Friday night game that numerous teams were interested in drafting Bronny yeah. ahead of 55 I'm, I'm assuming this came from Rich or the camp or whatever. I could be wrong, but but it's it's smacked of that mm -hmm. because they they want it known as he struggles so far, 0 for 12 from three so far. What is he six of 26 from the floor? They they want it known there was a lot of interest in him above 55, but that they made it clear going to play for his father's team, and everybody backed away and said okay. Now, do you buy that? I, 
Uh, do I do uh, I buy I'll, that people were interested yeah. in him? Yeah. I'll buy it. Yeah, I'll buy it. Yeah. And they're interested in him. Just on heck on pedigree alone. Yeah. You're, you're his son? Oh, okay. You, you I could buy yeah. their work yeah. teams interested. Okay. I mean, there's guys in the second round skip that average like five, six points also. Like he's sure. not the only no, one. No, I'm not with the only you. one. All right. I still have this gut feeling, and Keyshawn shares half of this gut feeling that Bronny James was born to play alongside his father for the big league team. And that if you put him in that spotlight, in that situation, he will not shrink from it. And it might bring out the, the better in him, if not the best in him. Well, give me an example. Okay. Give us an example. Okay. Well, see, I, if, you, I think... if you play him in game number one, game on number opening one. night, you play him, I don't know, 10 minutes. Okay. He'll look better in those 10 minutes than he's looked in, in 26 minutes a night in three G League games. But see, I don't look at it from and his And uh, his role would be it, whatever it is, it, whatever his role is. It wouldn't be flashy. It wouldn't be sensational. Spot up, spot it's up. spot up shooting. It's it's yeah. maybe his dad throws a cross his court dad. skip pass to him <laughs> over in the far up. corner. He's, he's yeah, up and he spots up in the far corner. I'll just I just have this gut feeling. If you put him on on that stage in that moment, in the he goes in late first quarter and dad throws a skip pass all the way across court, which he can do with the best of them, and hits Bronny right in the shooting pocket from the corner. He'll drain it. That, that's just what I think, because and you're not, you may not be yeah. wrong in terms of that, though, Skip. But I'm not just uh, saying his father. I believe as a, as as an athlete, when I'm around better players, absolutely, I'm gonna play better. You're gonna play better. Paul gonna put me in the right spot on the court. Okay, Agreed. he gonna tell me. No, the thing about he gonna tell me where to go. He gonna just gonna put you're, me in the right you're, spot. You're gonna rise to the yes. occasion. Yes. Yeah. When you around better players, you're deficiencies are on full display. Exactly. That, yeah. That's why. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but that, that's okay. Yep. That, that, that's I, that's okay, is. though, It's like bro. now when we watching Bronny in this setting, it's all eyes on him. It is. You know what I'm saying? So it's a difference. Now you out there but with Bron, Reeves, and like, yo, deficiencies. But I can build my confidence. I can build my confidence playing with the You're not going to touch the ball as much. That's okay. I, I can touch it four times. I'm building my confidence. And you might not even be long enough to catch a rhythm. You know what I'm saying? My confidence, though. Like, the confidence is going to come from playing. No, yeah. but we're not saying, I'm like, not yeah, saying well, stay up there. I'm just saying, well, that's got to develop on the practice. floor with these veteran players, they can put him in the right spots, unlike this all star McDonald's stuff, as Skip say, that he's playing in Vegas, mm -hmm. yeah. where everybody's trying to get their shots. They are. And they're trying to show the people overseas I can still play. They're trying to show other clubs, G League teams, look at me. I can do this. Hey, there, this there are times it looks desperate to me because they're fighting literally yeah. for their basketball life. They're trying to show out, you know, like, like yeah. give me the ball and I'm going to go solo. In them 10 right? minutes that Skip is talking about, I'm talking about 15, whatever, 12, I could draw up some stuff to get him to, to boom. And then, you know, a couple times. I can draw it up. Listen, they're not drawing up plays for Brian. <laughs> I'm not saying that they're they not gonna, are. You're not going to have. I'm saying I can like, if you, I you wanted can, to. Like, like as, as many years as I've been in the league and as many timeouts as I've been in, Keith, I've never seen the seven, eight, ninth option get a play drawn up. And here's what I'm gonna say. And you never and played what, with no, Ronnie Jim. Wait, no, here's what I'm about to say. Yeah. Your daddy ain't running the team. No, no, but listen. So Bron it's a different is, deal. Listen, man. Bron is gonna get him a shot. They're not gonna draw it up. It's gonna be Bron gonna be like, uh. He know how to draw it up. He know how to set him up to get, get him an open shot without drawing up a play. Okay, I saying. call it draw up. I didn't say call a timeout, draw it up. No, yeah, I, yeah. I'm just I saying they're they gonna not. make sure that he <laughs> gets Bron the opportunity. Bron is gonna make sure. They get the opportunity. Bron is gonna make sure he get the as shot. As he should. He's gonna be like, look, I'm gonna come off this pick and I'm gonna skip into the corner. This as, is, he, as he should. Anthony Rowe, they gonna go for the lob. So what's the difference? The what's court? the difference with what I said? What you saying? No, nah, he gonna say that's that. That's the same that's, thing. That's, he gonna say it. He gonna that's, tell him that on that's, the court. That's drawing it out. Nah, he's gonna tell him that on the court. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, that's yeah, the same thing. You ain't gonna be in the timeout because other <laughs> other cats gonna be looking over their shoulder like. But it don't dangerous. matter if it's a timeout or not. It's the same thing. Yeah. It's the same thing. I'm gonna make sure you get your shot. Look, here's the weird part about this. Bronny, son of the greatest scorer ever, was not born with a pickup style game. No. He doesn't fit in the summer league to me. And it's why I told you, I don't want him to go back to college 
because let's say you went back to USC and say your coach stayed and they're going to run it back, okay? <laughs> then the world is saying, okay, you, you average, what was it? Four. Four, whatever, blah, blah, blah. All right, now the world is going to say, okay, now you got all that freshman stuff out of your hair. Now, now let's see what you got. We'll, let's see 20 okay, and so nine. Good, I don't I think don't he's a 20 and nine. Give me 11. Okay, I'm not sure he's built for that. It, it's like he was born to play to complement his father's game. And I just have a gut feeling that, listen, dad and mom are extremely proud of son, yeah. and they should be. And <laughs> you guys can talk G League and make all the sense in the world, but I think they think it's beneath their kid's dignity to be I don't doing yo-yo back and forth I, I don't between so. G League. I don't think so, because you're talking about a, you're talking about not only a smart family, but you're talking about smart representation, and you're talking about his father that sees the bigger picture, the understanding. Yeah, but he but don't want to set him up for failure. Okay. He's not going to put him out on okay, the floor. You, you, you had me ready. about smart family until you got to father sees the bigger picture. My experience with fathers and sons who play, that they have, that they lose all perspective. Like, like you, you can't. Uh, listen, I've had so it. many friends it. whose kids were really good, and and after a while, I'm like, they're out of their minds. They're delusional but so, about how good but, their but, son but, is. But do you honestly think, for one minute, Skip, that he doesn't see his sons?